Duplicolor color tire paint. I'm gonna show you all the three week update. All right, so this tire is dirty and I haven't washed it yet. I'm gonna wash it today. I'm gonna show you all exactly how uh, I clean this. Sorry, I can't think. And I am up in an uphill battle with the rain. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is right now for me, but anytime I've been trying to do this update, it feels like it's been raining. So you can see it's still kind of raining right now ground's a little wet all right so forgive the camera movement I'm still learning how to use this little um, new mount so uh, what we're gonna do here is we're going to use a pH neutral soap I'm gonna clean the tire my wife drove out in the drove, drove. <laughs> drove out in the country the other day and um, I know there I think there's some curb checking that went on so I'll be able to address that so anybody can beat me up over this but if you curb check a tire I don't care what kind of, um, oh my word, my brain today. I don't care what kind of dressing you have on the tire, you're gonna have to either fix it, reclaim the tire, and reapply. So I think that's just like a thing for all tires. I don't think any of them are curb check proof, you know. So um, I'm kind of glad it happened so I can see it and then y'all can kind of see where we're at with the three week uh, process. And then I got really something cool to show y'all um, at the end of this video. So um, stay in tune till the end, please. And I'm gonna put you on the mount and hopefully uh, y'all get a better view right there. Okay, there we go. All right, so I just got a bucket of a pH uh, neutral car soap, like I said, and I got it on a designated uh, wash mitt. And these tires are dirty, okay? So, or the wheels, all right? So y'all can see that. Hold on, let me, let me flip the camera around and make sure y'all can see my finger. Y'all can see that right there. Okay, so, all right, so we got pH neutral soap, dedicated wheel cleaning mitt or tire mitt or whatever. And I'll just clean the bottom half today just because we can kind of have a level of, uh, you know, cleanliness so y'all can see it. And then um, I'll go back to the dirty to the clean side when I rinse it off. All I'm using is a garden hose. I just want to show you how simple this is and effective it is and then I'm going to get um, some microfiber um, uh, trash rags I guess I call them and then I'm going to uh, dry the tire off to the best of my ability so you all can see what it looks like when it's uh, pretty dry. So here's the rinse off. And no, I did not clean the rim. Great, I just wanted a few areas clean so we could see the clean from the dirt. Right, let's clean this off. All right, there we go. Okay, let me get some uh, drying rags and pitch these later on. So, and I really do apologize for uh, the rain. I wish I could kind of fix that, but it doesn't matter what day of the week I'm going for right now. It feels like it has been raining. Okay, so there's one. We're getting there. Give a second. I want to make sure I get it dry. I'm trying to go slow so I can mop it up. Really don't want to use one of my good drying towels right now. And I am still getting rained on. I don't know how much it's supposed to keep raining, but whatever. Um, here we go, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's dry to the touch. Okay, so here we go. I'll bring y'all in. And uh, there is some curb checking up here. I can see it. I wish I could show you better. I just don't know if being humid, humid, humid. <laughs> y'all are, y'all are really, y'all are really awesome. You're sticking with me so far. So curb checking up here, I know it. Um, I would get the air dryer, but I've been looking at my YouTube analytics lately. And anytime I incorporate an air tool or something, y'all click off the video. So I don't want to um, bore y'all with that or anything like that. I just want to make sure I'm being as transparent as possible getting this dry and then uh let me get one more rag i'll hit the rim and then we'll go over the tire one more time um I'm just gonna do this one right here and here and here and then i'll bring the camera in so y'all can get kind of a a close-up that would be uh it's gonna be my uh intent right now flip this, flip this rag over and then all right and y'all are gonna be able to tell it's dry okay i know it looks like it's wet but that's the beauty of this stuff, I guess, in a way, is the sheen always looks like it's in a really good state and just been applied, okay? So here we go. All right, you can see my finger right here. I'm trying to be stable. There's no, like, smudging or anything like that, okay? Hope that showed up, okay? I know it's wet up here. I know there is some curb checking right here. Forgive me for bumping the mic. 
get new equipment you got to get all acclimated to it all right so here's our dirty part of the rim okay you can see the fingerprint all right I'm not making this stuff up okay I'm gonna go slower on this side these are dry like I said I know it's raining but these are dry this is how it looks dry right, I'm gonna take my clean finger right here here you go right here they're dry I'm, I'm telling you they're, they're dry <laughs> okay so hopefully y'all enjoy this three week update on this and then I am slowly going to walk y'all around my beautiful concrete driveway and I want to show y'all something new I got going on and I have learned I think I have learned a really good way to apply this stuff so what you're looking at is a different method I have used to apply the duplicate color tire paint with the twist I'm not ready to talk about it yet just because I think uh, I want to make sure that it's um, a good way to do it and it holds up I think durability is always a thing and I always do longer testing than most not right off the bat to, sh to tell y'all but I want y'all to be able to do something and it be dupli duplicable um, so and I want it to be easy so thank y'all so much for tuning in I'm gonna be doing the give giveaway later today for the Rios G6 so happy Tuesday y'all and I appreciate y'all so much y'all have a great one